television, but also theme park events, promotional events, and red carpet. Yeah, we're there. Yeah, we probably would love it. You're also seeing some decor for Halloween Horror Nights. You know, it's kind of funny, the parking lot of this hotel is always full, but I never see any guests walking around. I wonder where they go. Well, we're going to check into the Bates Motel next door. It's run by Norman Bates and his mother. They actually live just up on the hill in that brown house. In fact, I think I see mother in the second story window. Do you? You know, I read the reviews of this motel, they're a little mixed. They said management's kind of creepy, but the showers are too awful. And if you didn't get that joke, it's okay. It's a deep cut. There's Norman. As we make our way up the path, we're going to get a killer view of the house coming up on our left. Oh no. Uh, Norman Bates is home, everybody. Do not make eye contact with him. I heard he's a real psycho. Okay, a lot of you are doing the opposite. Hey, Norman. <laughs> that could have been a disaster. But not as big of a disaster as what we're driving through. This is the spectacular crash site from Steven Spielberg's War of the World Star Tom Cruise. Now the plane on our left hand side, this is real. This is a real 747 they have destroyed just for the movie. It cost the production about $60,000. Not too bad for an entire airplane. But then they charge Paramount a quarter of a million dollars to get it here on flatbed trucks. So that's where they get you, shipping and handling. But let's watch this crash site in action from this scene in War of the Worlds. So Here's some commentary. That's from our production designer Rick Carter and director Steven Spielberg. The airplane the crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Steven. He said, again, he sat down to talk about the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's just, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You can't come back. You're doing something. Listen, I'm gonna close your eyes, okay? Okay, I'm closed. Robbie, get in. Get in. War of the Worlds, directed by the man, the legend, Not Mr. Steven Spielberg. Now, Steven Spielberg has been inspiring a whole new generation of filmmakers, and one of those filmmakers is none other than Jordan Peele. And in just a few moments, we're going to be checking out the theatrical sets from his new sci-fi film, starring Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Steven Yeun. And here to introduce Jupiter's claim is Academy Award winner, Jordan Peele. Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in hundreds, work together to take an impossible mission and the team. This is Jupiter's claim. Nostalgic small time Southern California amusement park, owned by former child star Rick Hunter. Uh, 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 Over there, uh, look into the winky room and have your picture uh, uh, taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie kids show. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. No? A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so live anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy of a golden white frontier town lies a sinister secret. It is smack dab in the center of the UFO Hotspot.